My name is Duncan McSporran and I'm the Chief Operations Officer and the Vice President for Aerospace and Defence at Cognitive Spark. So Microsoft announced the HoloLens 2, which is the next generation of system for the HoloLens, which has been with us now for three years. The announcement they've made is really significant for us because this is a, not just a step forward, but it's a leap forward in, in technology and capability and reflects a lot of the input that we've been able to give to Microsoft as a managed partner. It can be very confusing for companies, especially when they see new technology and they say, well, this is going to really evolve in the same way that a lot of other technologies such as the mobile phone or you know going back a step further the laptop um, evolved but the real aspect that we've got to focus on is that this is about process this is about how we use technology to improve a process in a way that 10 years ago people would have said was science fiction and if we wait if we wait, Cognitive Spark waits, if our clients wait, then what they end up doing is just simply putting themselves behind the evolution of their systems. The reality is that that progression is, is going to move much, much more effectively if you start now. This is not going to be an arithmetic uh, progression in, in t technology. You're not going to be five steps ahead in five years. Somebody who starts now is going to be 25 steps ahead of somebody who starts in five years. Well, Remote Spark is, is already optimized for the Microsoft HoloLens and uh, we just plan to take advantage of the new features and capabilities of the new device. There's so much happening in the AR and MR space and sometimes companies are wondering when is the right time for us to get started. The technology is ready for scale deployments and uh, now is the right time to get going on developing your proof of concepts and getting ready for the public availability of HoloLens 2.